Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It must be time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. Angel guides, spirit guides, what is the October message for Sagittarius? Hi, Sag. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I know you could be doing anything, but I am grateful that you came to hang out with me for a few minutes. Stay till the end of the message. Okay. Here we go. You open up with the death card, Scorpio energy transformation, transmuting something. The death card is also an ending and a new beginning. So you start October maybe with something new or maybe something ending. Let's see. Yeah, you weren't really happy. Maybe in love, maybe the way somebody was treating you or the way they were making you feel. Hmm. You now realize that paying attention to your feelings in October, you realize that they're not capable of giving you what you want. Like you want a family. I feel like you. what would make you happy would be to have a family, a wife, a kids, a husband, your kids. Mm. grandparents, like their family, your family getting together, okay? Especially during the holidays, I'm feeling this. Sagittarius. And this is what you seek to get. You know, you, you come in with the death card because you are an action sign, you're ruled by fire. You're a wand. And this is the six of wands. You're going to go after what you want, especially if you're not satisfied. <clears throat> so <clears throat> obviously you weren't satisfied in the past because now you're looking for something new in the future. Seven of swords. A deception. I was just having the same energy, feeling the same energy with Virgo. You may have Virgo in your placements. So transformation sometimes makes us feel uncomfortable. I feel like you are growing. You know, you got up on that horse to begin to move forward, try and rebuild your life, a fresh start, a clean slate. And that's your intention in October. Spirit so saying, even if you encounter deception, because it's almost like you're coming out of like a depressive state relating to happiness, about a family, a significant other, some children. Something has you in a little depressive state. But you're ending that and you're moving forward one step in front of the other. But there's still this cloud in the middle of October that's around you. The cloud is still there. There's some fear, maybe doubt. It could even be self-sabotage or... Maybe there's outside influences that are negative. But this is what's important for you in October. In order to get the victory, keep moving forward. Also, it may take some time, you know. Don't put expectations on it. 
Mm. And no, there's going to be some challenges. But those are going to dissipate quickly, the challenges. Because you're smart. You're really smart. Leo energy. The strength card. God, give me the strength to overcome. Yes, he's going to give Sagittarius the strength to overcome anything in October. He's going to give you awareness. You're going to be sharp. Your intuition is on it. Let me tell you something. You have the Seven of Swords at the center of your reading, but with this King of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. Your mind is going to be keen and sharp. Not much is going to be able to get over on you. Why? Because we're going to pray for continued strength and you already realize where your help comes from. Absolutely. Yeah. What else does Sagittarius need to know about October? Continue to transform, to continue to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Because this transformation changes your happiness. You know, ultimately, we are responsible for our own happiness. And what I see is that you allow this transformation, you're going with it because you're coming out of an unhappy state. And by you going with the flow, that's what's guaranteeing your happiness. It's like you are aligning with your angel guide, your spirit guides. They're changing your whole situation around. Two more spirit. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, let's qualify. The death card is qualified by the nine of cups. You're gonna the, this transformation is gonna lead to your happiness because you're you were unhappy. You were unhappy. Um, very little effort was being given to this either by you or by them or you once you realize this was not going to make you happy or bring you the ten of pentacles you began to to make positive moves that's right and those positive moves led you to a blessing and you know what's so good about october october is called the hunter's month because it's a moon it's a moon where you can still plant and October is a time you can still plant seeds that will harvest by allowing things to change. Some people are so set in their ways or they're Afraid of change. That's not you, Sag. Especially not in October. You welcome it. You welcome this change. Absolutely. You're on fire. The Ace of Wands appears for you because when we align ourselves with our path, with spirit, when we admit that something in the past is not working and we bring it to an end and then we're ready, we accept our part we played you know, we accept some healing that we have to go through, but then we're ready to move on. And when you kind of take that approach to the past and come into the present, looking forward to the future, you get a blessing. It's when you don't change, right? When you are just hell bent on doing it your way, then things go your way and nine times out of 10, they don't work out. And I think you may have experienced that and maybe that's why you're so fluid in October. It's like you, and look what you get. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Mm. This is my Yes card. This is my lantern. You rub on its belly and you make a wish and you get your wish. Mm. You get your wish in October. Because 
under this waning crescent moon in Virgo, it's all about surrendering. Like once you realize that you can't win with the current situation, you surrender it and you just turn it over to God. And it's almost like you get out of the way. You get the victory because you believed that you deserve more and you took action towards that. That's why you got this blessing. That's why you're going to get the victory. And you know what? Whoever was in the past that caused you any angst, any negative drama, they kind of want to apologize. There are some regrets. They remember fun that you two used to have. You are a lot of fun, Sagittarius. And they're remembering that. Hmm. But you've passed judgment on that situation by the middle of October. You're looking forward. Yes, this transformation brings you into the present. You're looking forward towards the future. And you know what? You have two cards of strength. Strength qualifying the Eight of Wands. It's like you quickly had the confidence and the courage to do what you want. I feel the emperor here. I do. I feel the emperor here. With all of this, these are major arcanas. I also feel spirit. It's like he sees this. He's almost like congratulating you. That's why you get the ace of wands. You get this blessing because you've made it through. This is significant. You know, you've turned lemons into lemonade. I do. I feel like that. Damn. And look, we were talking about your happiness being with somebody that you can start a family with. Well, look at your last two cards. The king and the queen of swords. First of all, these two align. They're the same suit. They think alike. Their morals, their beliefs. They're truthful. They can communicate with each other. Their language of love is very similar. Yeah, they're both kind of direct. You know, they don't have issues expressing their feelings. Tell me more on why the king and queen of swords is here for Sag. You two mirror each other. Didn't I say you two are aligned? Same suit. You believe. And this, <laughs> thank God that you allowed this transformation. See, at the time, that's why you get the blessing. Because you didn't know how it was going to end. But you had the faith to just ride with it. Whatever spirit was bringing in. After you letting go of somebody you knew you had no future with, you decided to let spirit take the helm and you just, that like, that made the difference. It made all the difference. You know, I just did a reading for Virgo and at the end, she met the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups met the King of Cups. Now we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Either way, you guys mirror each other. You look alike, you talk alike, you feel the same. And mm, I'm telling you, this relationship goes deep, this King and Queen of Swords. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me from a love standpoint, why are these two coming together? Because this is a true soul connection. I knew it. Right. And Spirit says, you know, this is going to be an intense connection. I guess, you know, we shouldn't think that just because they're divine soul counterparts, they don't come with lows or issues. Because that's not true. Love does come with highs and lows. Okay. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Oof, they're going to cherish you. This king and queen, this is like an automatic bond. It is. What else? 
You two do cherish each other. Mm. Creating magical moments that can be rekindled. Yeah, because when you experience those lows, you're going to have to remember how to rekindle the highs, the magical moments. That's what Spirit just said. Right. It's going to be intense, but come on. The king and queen of swords, that's strength. They're both very witty. But you know what's important here? That this is a true soul connection, first of all. It is the Ace of Wands. It's something that you wanted with the magician. And it's something that you got. You had the courage and strength to hold out and work towards what you want. And God gave you somebody who you align with. You two mirror each other. You're going to cherish and love each other. This is a very, very serious relationship. Coming in the end of October. Somewhere around the end of October. Right in time before the holidays. Tell me more. Sag. Yeah, see, where you were incompatible with this person in the past, you have major compatibility here. See, this is somebody you're fated to be with, and that's why something is ending so something new can begin. This is a cycle, a cycle that is sure to bring about the Nine of Cups, that's transforming everything that happened to you regarding love in the past. It's changing, totally changing. October's the beginning of that, okay? So I would be kind of happy here. <laughs> Spirit, do you want to tell me something about work or purpose or money for Sag? In October, love looks like you got that taken care of. Oof. First of all, you find a great match. You're on the verge of finding a great match. Well, this is a great match, the king and queen of swords. But it could be regarding work. Mm, a great match. Some of you will find a good match, employer, employee, but others of you need to know that growing your own business is what's going to truly make you happy. Like you are going to find that the best match is you working for yourself. October, you know, Sag, October is called the Hunter's Month. Moon, rather. Hunter's Moon, too. Well, it's called the Hunter's Moon because you can plant seeds and they will still harvest. So whatever you do, you see with love, you planted a seed. By the end of the month, something is going to harvest there. But also, Spirit is going to shed some light on you from a monetary standpoint and regarding your purpose. The light is coming from the moon because the hunter's moon provides more visibility because the leaves are no longer on the trees. So when you look up at the moon, you're able to get some more light. So Spirit is shedding some light so that you see things much more clearly in October and that is also going to help you with your direction. Your direction now aligns with your purpose. Things are unfolding slowly, step by step. Mm, didn't I say that? Little by little. So there's no need to hurry or worry. You're being divinely guided anyway from a love standpoint as well as something that you love. You know that because answers will be coming in October. You're going to resolve your current situation soon, whether it's in love or in terms of work. Work-wise, you're going to find unique ways to stand out. If some of you are staying 
with your employer or staying with your line of work, something's going to happen that's going to make you stand down. Either way, I do see those of you staying with your employer, like I said, you're going to find ways or ideas are going to come into your mind and opening up and taking advantage of these ideas are going to make you stand out and also bring you job security. For those of you who are thinking about being entrepreneurs, I, I see you are a great influencer and maybe that's your new job. Maybe you're being told to do some public speaking, social media, videos, interview, a podcast, something like that, voiceovers even. Well, these are all options for you in October for you to think about. And I'm sure if you just sit quietly, you'll be able to come up with tons of options because they're flowing you have the Ace of Wands, my dream of genie card. Remember, anything you want, you can have. You have the magician. So that's why it's almost like you have a blank check. <laughs> that's how I feel. Anything that you do, it's going to multiply. It's going to bring you success. It's going in that direction. You get your wish. Okay, spirit, what else? Anything else? Okay. Live your life to its fullest potential. That's kind of what's happening. Let go of the need for approval from others. Live up to your own expectations and nobody else's. No more selling yourself short. Keep moving forward. You've got this. Yeah, when you're with somebody that you can't really build with, you can't, you don't have the structure to support a family, keep moving. Keep moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else, Spirit, does Sagittarius need to know in general? Your mindset. Right. You know the difference between scarcity and abundance. And when it comes to anything in October, your mindset is critical. Always remember the glass is half full. You know, I think you have a lot of hidden talents, man. You have a lot that has yet to be revealed, even in terms of love. I think you're going to discover a language of love between the two of you, something that you've never spoken, something that you've never encountered before. Like you've never had somebody that you aligned with that was perfect for you, where you two were just like instinctively supposed to be together. Pay attention to your authenticity. Be yourself. That's right. Be yourself. This is a month where... Just as you are, it works for you. Be yourself. Discover yourself. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh. Okay. Triggers. Mm. Mm. Wow. There is some drama. There's some drama. There may be someone who triggers you, tries to create some drama. <sighs> Sag. Oh, if that's the case, they want your attention. Well, who is this? Let's find out who this is. What is this? Who is this creating drama? Who wants... Somebody wants to apologize. Maybe this 
person that you left in the past. With the Prince of Cups, that's an apology. They're apologizing for being immature. Mm. See, uh, the Two of Wands is here because there was a choice. Maybe they realized they made the wrong choice. They went down the wrong path. <laughs> I'll tell you, the past always comes back, right? Because God uses everything. Sometimes he uses us to give them their karma by seeing how happy we are. I kind of feel like that in this case. But then when you don't give them the, the attention that they want, they create drama. They start to blame you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this escalates south. <laughs> it goes bad quick. I just feel you're going to have to cut it off again. Yeah, because you got something new coming in. You don't need anything of from the past straggling in. Yeah, this person's really anxious. You know, they made the wrong choice. They had the two of wands and they made the wrong choice. And now they want to come back. Mm -mm. Right when, you know, that's how it always works. When it rains, it pours. Right when, Satch, you find somebody that you align with, drama comes back. Oh, my goodness. But Spirit said, you know what? Boundaries. Yeah, because this person that you meet the end of October that you align with, you want to protect that. It's worth the protection because this is true love. This is a soul counterpart. And this person, you know, they're kind of crazy. Or am I turning this? I am. This person comes back with all this drama and stuff because they're trying to mess your thing up. No, you need some boundaries about this love, this new love. Mm -mm. You two cherish and tell them about it. Don't withhold any information. Tell them what this other person is doing. You know why? Because they may go to, the, to your new love directly and this way they won't be in the dark. I don't know where they came from, but this person is not wrapped too good. I don't know. I honesty is always the best and um, omission is a lie so tell them what's going on here I feel like if you are if you clue them in to this person it works out well for your you're going to be surprised how things work out in your favor and the more information that you two share between each other, being the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, you are sharing, communicating. So definitely tell them everything that's going on. You're going to be surprised at how things turn out by you pulling them into this drama, this craziness. Because this person comes right at the same time your new love comes. Or very close. They come back. Maybe even a little before the new love. To try and distract you from the new love. <sighs> what else do we want to tell Sag? Yeah, pay attention to your heart. Because Satan is, is watching you in November. He wants this to crumble. He wants the old relationship to negatively influence your new relationship. So be aware of that, Sagittarius, in October. All righty, let's summarize with an angel number for Sag. Holy Spirit, angel number. Summarizing this reading. Compromise. 
with this new relationship. You know, those who want their relationships to work out, they're willing to compromise. Every relationship that works out, you got to compromise. They get some things, you get some things. But you are so much more aware in October, especially by the end of October. You're so much more aware of yourself, what you want, how important your freedom is, how important it is to find someone that you align with and letting go of what no longer serves you and doing it quickly. I see that with this new person, you're able to express your emotions and that you two compromise easily. You you mirror each other. See, you two in the past, this past person, you didn't have understanding. You didn't have an understanding between you two and there was lack there. You, something was missing and so you knew it was best to just move on. Rather than try and make it work, there was nothing there to make it work. And and being honest with yourself, the truth is what set you free. I'm praying for this new relationship for you to see that compromise is good. 07, 07. But it's also a relationship that's worth it. That's what's coming in for Sagittarius. Let's pray 0707 in the comments for me if you could resonate. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Sag, thank you so much for staying till the end, until the next moon phase. Namaste.